Our mission in the sim today really highlighted this important key concept about systems and system models. And that is if one part of a system changes, this affects the rest of the system. Remember an ecosystem is just one type of system that has a bunch of interacting parts. And when we changed one of the inputs of our system when it came to the process of photosynthesis, that one of the outputs changed. If I change the amount of sunlight, then the amount of energy storage molecules changed. And the same thing happened when I changed the amount of carbon dioxide. This key concept will be important in our work in explaining what happened with the Econauts biodome. So pause the video and record this idea on your paper. As we reflect on what we learned here today in lesson 1.5, it would be great for you to message your science teacher. They really miss you. They really miss seeing you every day and getting to learn and use science along with you. So go ahead before next time, if you can, send them a message to say hi, tell them how you're doing, explain to them what you learned about how photosynthesis works, and explain to them what you figured out today with two causes of decreasing the amount of energy storage molecules in an ecosystem. And if that's not enough for you, and you want an additional challenge before we see each other next, go ahead and complete another SIM mission in Lesson 1.5, Activity 4. See you next time.